Think the moon's just a boring rock? Think again. Right now, yeah, literally this second, the ground under the sea of tranquility is shaking like it's got chills. Tiny ones, big ones, thousands every year. If you pressed your helmet to the dust, you'd feel it. A weird, never-ending drum roll called moonquakes. Some could tip over a lander, others just wiggle a few grains. Either way, they're ten times weirder than any earthquake you've felt. Want to know why? We've got to dive 435 miles straight down, past busted rock and ancient lava, to see where the moon's still alive and kicking. So the Apollo guys didn't just leave footprints and flags. From 1969 through 1977, they dropped four seismometers on the surface, basically giant space ears. Those things eavesdropped for eight years straight and caught over 13,000 quakes. 435 miles down, picture three Everests stacked like Lego. That's where Earth's gravity keeps sneak-hugging the moon. Every time the moon orbits us, 27 days, give or take, our planet's gravity tugs its insides. Stress builds, faults slip, and boom, a low, lazy tremor rolls up. They're weak. Never above a three on the Richter scale, but they hit the same spots hundreds of times a month. Scientists love these guys. They're like the moon's heartbeat used for X-raying the interior. 124 miles down, the moon's cooling off, and cooling means shrinkage. Over the last 100 million years, it's lost 50 meters of radius, like a raisin, but in slow-mo. The crust cracks into thrust faults that can throw a magnitude 5.5 jab. That'll flip boulders and crack your base windows. Worse? They last forever. On Earth, waves fizzle in seconds because water and cracks act like shock absorbers. The moon's dry and stiff, so the ground boings up and down for 10, 15 minutes. Apollo astronauts said it felt like standing inside a gong while some giant keeps whacking it from orbit. Back on the surface, the lunar day is brutal. Two weeks of 260 degrees Fahrenheit sun, followed by two weeks of minus 280 degrees Fahrenheit shade. That's a 540 degree mood swing. The top few meters of crust puff up and shrink, cracking open like cold taffy at dawn and dusk. Each snaps a baby quake, barely a two, but they're everywhere, all the time. If the moon had a weather app, these would be the static you can't turn off. No air up there, so rocks don't burn up. A basketball-sized meteoroid slams in at cosmic speed and kaboom, instant earthquake. Apollo sensors caught dozens each year. Some shook the hole near side. Those shockwaves give scientists superhero vision, mapping basalt layers and buried regolith like a lunar CT scan. Every new crater's both a scar and a free science probe. Add it all up and the moon's basically a drum floating in space. Earth has oceans, mud, and squishy plates that swallow vibration like foam. The moon's crust is a dry, uncracked bell. Each quake sets the whole thing humming. Apollo seismograms look like smooth church bell curves, not jagged earthquake spikes. Waves circle the moon again and again before they finally shut up. That's why future astronauts will freak out. The ground keeps bobbing under your boots for minutes like the moon's breathing in slow motion. Deep inside, it's creaking under Earth's hug, shriveling like cold glass, twitching at every sunrise and flinching whenever space throws rocks. Apollo handed us the first mixtape of these alien beats, and new gear like the Far Side Seismic Suite is about to drop the sequel from the Far Side and the Poles. If we're gonna live there, we'd better know when the floor's gonna start dancing. Like weird space facts? So next time you stare at that silent silver coin in the sky, remember, it's not sleeping. Smash subscribe and drop your questions. I'll be hanging out in the comments until the next full moon hits.